Hey gamers, Snapchat here with some more Yonder, the Cloudcatcher Chronicles, like always. We are just going to load the game, which is this one. I think, right? Yeah, should be this one. Should be the most recent one. I actually have been playing a separate game. Uh, separately, just to have fun, more of a, um, what would you call it, um, just, just a basic game that I can have fun with and enjoy myself. Uh, I did play quite a bit, um, of this, like, on this one by myself, too, just to get some stuff ready. Uh, by the way, our box did come back, um, which you guys did not see in the previous episode because I had not, like, reloaded it at the time. But we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, I've just kind of been... Oh yeah, I did plant another... Or get another tree. Not tree plant, but um, normal plant. Plant. So, basically this is just... Us getting our farm all set up and whatnot, so we can actually have more things to build. Specifically, making more farm life, basically, like uh, getting more animals on our farm, which would probably be today's journey. So what we are going to do, what weather, what do we want to say? What weather gets something to keep the rain off Polly? And Polly, we have not yet really um, helped, because I don't really know what I'm supposed to do for her. But kids are a huge thing, and we're supposed to get water. So what I can do is start collecting tons of vines so we can make that, but what we can start doing is making carpenter kits, which allows us to make more pens for all of the creatures that we will come across. And it's super loud in my headphones for some reason. So just give me a second here, because I can't hear anything. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that I can finally hear a little bit better, we are going to collect some sticks and we're going to go find some vines. That's one thing I really need to actually start making is vines. But I don't know how to do that. There's a chest here. Nice. That's always good. And I love these mystery sweets. These mystery sweets always give me something to look forward to. And it was red dye, which we're not going to make that same mistake again, because we all know what uh, happened the last time I did that. So we're not going to do that, but this is just going to be more collecting materials again and hopefully finding what we need, which is those guys. I really want to know if I can make Vines myself at home. Because we are a plant, but so far I have not been able to make them myself, which is a bit depressing considering the fact that they are more than likely a big part of making everything. So that's always something to, you know, remember. And we are going to beat these up. You never know what you're going to find in them. What's this? It's the remains of a worn diary. I'm like, it's just a thick as I do. Oh, okay. We're just going to pick these mushrooms up because we actually can get those um, pigs um, that are near the forest with those deer. And I hear a cat, which means I'm very close to a cat. And I see the cat, I think, up there. 
So we're going to save this kitty. And as you can see, I am a huge fan of collecting the cats because they are part of the game. I don't know what you get for them. But we also know that the sprites and a and or aka known as the um fairies, I like to call them. Because they are so absolutely adorable. And I enjoy them quite a bit. So we are really just gathering materials to get everything. I don't want to just get for Polly. That's going to be a lot tougher to uh, figure out. So I think what I'm going to do is change that bullet stone bridge and the other ones that I have yet to do anything about. That's the mark. Sure. We're going to set that as the active. Just because of the fact I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing as far as um, Holly goes. I feel kind of bad, but you know, what am I going to What else am I going to do and whatnot about that? Um, but yeah, so this is just really gathering materials for all our pets, making sure that I have everything I need to be able to get to the old kingdom. But I also know from playing in the other game, I've missed a couple of things, um, which will happen. I'm only human. I can only do so much. Um, so we will get on board with that as well. But as far as I know, we've been doing pretty good so far. Uh, apparently we're in fall, which is kind of funny because we are in fall soon in the real world here in America, which is pretty awesome to kind of have it correlated with what we're doing here. And I can also get farm um, houses, like homesteads and whatnot, for my pets as well by trading stuff in. So the more materials I gather, the more things I make, the higher of a chance I have of uh, being able to get everything I need, which is pretty nice. So what we're going to do, to get that one. Uh, I think it's just like the water and whatnot. But all I know is that we're doing pretty good as far as I know. Um, but I also want to make a farmstead. Which for a large one. I need two nails, two wood beams, and two wood tiles, and one plank. So, let's do that. Nails, two of those. Can I not make planks yet? I don't think I can. I do not remember how I learned how to make planks. Maybe I had to do something for somebody, I don't remember, but yeah, so let's actually go over to the Carpenter's Guild area, because I think I actually have to finish a quest over there that allows me to be able to make um, farm houses for the animals in the first place. And as you see, I'm constantly doing stuff for the environment because the more you help the environment, the happier the animals are. So that's what we're doing, is always making sure that the animals are happy. I also learned how to fish while I was um, getting everything set up for this episode. So you'll definitely be seeing me 
fishing quite a bit as well because I can get farm hand by giving them what they might want. Like, um, that's why my farmstead hand um, is so awesome. Oh. Sounds like this little dip tanners that everyone really needs to get their building stock. So I can farm, like, hire farm hand, which is exactly what we should be doing because it's easier to take care of our animals that way. Um, and I've also been trying to find all the sprites I can because the more sprites you find, the better off you will be to be able to do all that. Like, I got the one from over here. Um, let me see if I can get him up. This guy. I got him from here. So we've only found eight so far. We need 26, I'm guessing, to complete the full game, which, I mean, you know, it's one of those things you can't really help Lori. But yeah, I found him just chilling over here, and we also know that I can get them by helping random people out, which I found pretty interesting considering the fact that they hide as humans, which is pretty cool. Um, you would never suspect them to be that way, but it, it, it works out that way, which is pretty surprising. I'm trying to figure out where that cave was that I found over here somewhere. But yeah, I've been doing quite a bit off camera just because of the fact that there's so much to do and you need to really do it all with, you know, some diligence here and perseverance to really finish everything that I cannot find in it for the life of me, which kind of sucks, but, you know, life happens. <laughs> so great at the time already. Um, Alright, well, we'll just freaking go on there around then. I'm constantly trying to figure out how to get places faster, what's the easiest route, and what not to. And really, there is no easy route, you just kind of keep going. Because we do have it all set up to that area. But I also really want to find all the places too. Which is frustrating because you need all these guys to be able to do all these little sprites and whatnot. So. It's been quite a ride so far for me playing the game off screen because you're trying to gather materials, you find other quests on accident, and you're like, crap, now I have to do those. So I have some footage filmed, um, or just some footage in general of me off camera and whatnot doing that and finding stuff that I was like, oh crap, this is a big part of the story and whatnot. I'm also kind of upset that, you know, we could have gotten a lot of our equipment for free, in a sense, like the fishing pole and the pickaxe. Because so I was like, well, I need those materials, but haha, go figure, I really don't need all of them. Which is kind of in the face when you think about it, because how much you have to do in this game to just be able to get everything is kind of like, really, did I really have to? trade all these other things that I might have needed for other stuff just because I um, didn't know how to get everything so quickly so it's whatever now but you know if you ever plan on playing this game now you know to not make the stupid moves that I did yeah so I think I'm supposed to make a certain amount of stuff here but let me see. Like, maybe there's something I'm missing. I don't know what it is. Oh. Well done, you have mastered the arts of carpenter. Alright, well, that doesn't help me. It's not a sprint. But I still can't make a lot of stuff. So thanks for that. 
like, okay. Do you have plates? I do. Nice. So let's start selling stuff. Let me take that away. That. 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 Oh, there's only a value of 2016. Well, 16. Sorry, like 2016. What do you mean? Let me get rid of. Oh, this costs 20 each. So, what am I doing? I can just do one and be fine. Okay. Yeah, we did that. Let's make ourselves some. Oh, I need wood. I use a bone wood, I did use the bone wood. That's fine. We will just we'll do that later. Let's go on a quest. Let's go on a journey here. There's so much more to explore in this area. It's absolutely insane how much to do. Like like how much there is to do still. Even though we just started the game. So all aboard. Alright, so we're going on. And we're here. Nice. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see what we'll find here. Whole new world. I'm pretty scared, to be honest, since nothing's been able to attack us yet. I don't know what we're gonna find. Like, we found a flower. So let's read the caterpillar things. Can I clear up this work? No, I cannot. I need 13 sprites to be able to clear up that work. And I want to be able to do that. And I think we might have just found one over there. So, we have eight, we have eight sprites so far, which I personally think is pretty good. And the more we clean up, the better off we are. We have so many other towns to go to, and so many other things to learn. Interact. A small but reads, Radiant Sand Shrine. Sunglasses 3. Like, we have to know how to do so many things. And that's being part of it. We have to be a fashion vista. We have to... What are you? What do you like to eat? Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, I want to be a life for them. Oh, okay, we can clear this up. I want whatever that unicorn being thing is, because it was beautiful. And we got... Oh, so we're in the radiant scenes. That's pretty cool. I want you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think the sign has a thing. Or is that the same one? Oh, it's the same one. I was really excited there for a second. I was like, oh, we found another one. Oh man, this is cool. So we are here in the Radiant Sands. Are you a cat? Oh my god, you're a cat. I need to save you. <laughs> I love this little side quest of collecting cats. I really do. It makes everything so much better. Um, but as you can see, there's tons of murk here. So we need to clear all of it. And, oh, you want to use things. Okay, so these guys, if you do certain stuff, show me your commitment. The seeds planted now make the future grow stronger. Show me your commitment. Seeds planted. So basically, each one of these faces, um, I'll definitely insert a clip and whatnot of some of the, the things I found when I wasn't recording. Specifically, like, all the stuff I'm doing now. But it's pretty cool because these faces can take you to different areas that can do a lot of stuff for you. But let's get back onto the kingdom really quick because like that will give me something. It'll it will give me another sprite, basically is what those new glowy um ones are. And I think that's pretty cool because um, 
there's so much to learn about this world and there's so many animals to obtain. I don't know how to extend my farm out more yet, but that has to deal with um, being a carpenter or some sort of uh, thing. But we have to master the art of all of these numerous talents of ours. So we're going to start going in here now. And I'm probably going to cut this at the half hour mark and whatnot instead of what I did last time, which I played a good hour or so of keep. Like I, 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 yeah, I recorded for like a good hour. All right, and we are here. Dang, that is beautiful. That's the source of all of the issues being caused. Greetings, Sprites, yeah? Your path has led you to the Cloud Catcher. Once a towering achievement between people and Sprite folk, it now holds open a wound across our worlds. This wound, which stands between you and the answers you seek, is the source of the murk. Search in the desert, young sprites here. Find the old man whom time forgot. He shall be your guide and light the path that must be tread. Farewell, sprites here. You still have far to go. Alright, so we finally finished that. And I will laugh if the old man is the one that we meet in the town. That'd be pretty funny. But it's not, unfortunately. So let's go up here and let's see if there's anything we can find up here as far as sprites go or anything. Can't go that way. Alright. So I guess we're done here. So that's pretty cool. Lots to learn. Plenty to find. Just the desert land. So we are the chosen one, basically, is what they're trying to tell me. <laughs> Which is pretty cool, but... Planting random seeds in different areas, because... That's smart. Green shampoo, oh god. That's pretty intense. So we're going to go back and hopefully finish all of us. Can't break those, that's fine. Okay, I just have to talk to him every time. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. That sucks. I wish I just had my own boat so I could go place to place. Alright. Let's see. So there are plenty of towns here. Plenty of things to learn. So let's go down this way. Oh, and these guys are great because you have to basically make bridges and fix the world around you. So like that needs another stone thing, which sucks, because I really want to get over there, but I also want to make my stuff. They don't make any of this easy, if, if you've found that out. Because there's another place I have to go that allows me to build everything that I need. Like stone arches, you have to buy for a lot of money, which is fantastic. So good. And I just want to find all these sprites, and I can't do that without getting involved in other quests and everything. Which, it's just, it's just a mess overall, to be honest. And, you know. I'm, I, I could be here for hours playing this game and finding materials and keeping side quests. Cause I don't think all the all the quests are important. A lot of them, honestly, you're just gathering all the materials and things that you need. So I might just continue playing once again without recording, so I can actually get what I need for you guys. So we can actually continue further along the path. Um, what path? I don't know yet, anyway. But we will find out, I guess, soon. I think this would be the... Yeah, this is the construction den. Uh -huh. Welcome to... We can make ten bits and bobs out of every... Alright, so this is the 
Tinkerer's Guild, I, I would personally call it. But that's just me. And we want to clear up as much work as possible so we can get everything. Like all these like chests that have red stuff in them. And, like stone tiles. Mm. That's pretty cool, right? I think so. And I love this forest, the area, because... Oh yeah, here's the town that I was looking for. This is the one that has everything um, as far as Harbor Ridge. So I can join this guild. Ah. Hey, I heard over and over. I just ripped all this loot because so you can get their hands on. And this guy has all these things like save stone arch. Um, and whatnot. I hear a cat and I want to get that cat so bad. Where's the kitty? There it is. Hey kitty. Purple Rex. Like I said, I am a stickler for saving animals. Huh. There's a that spring where I start to get rid of all their lumber goods. Lots of things, lots of things. I'm trying to look for the chick that I need to talk to. Are you oh. online? I heard no. Where is she, is she in here? She said she's she's somewhere. I just don't remember how to get to her. <laughs> oh, here's this chick again. You remember her? Oh. What's a brothel's favorite food? A moose. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Don't question me. So, oh, I see where I have to go. I see it now. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to figure everything out. So, put her here. Oh yeah, there's that stone thing that I had, I think, come across. And basically, some of them are teleporters, and some are, um, I don't even know. Some of them are just amazing, to be honest. Hmm. So, for the hundredth yeah. time, I'm not a baker of TikTok. TikTok, either you're gluten intolerant, I hate gluten, or you're looking for a ruby TikTok, the Tinker's guild leader. Well, TikTok, you're in luck. You found me. Huh. So we can... No one has to know how four things work. Uh, We're putting them back together when they break. And we certainly don't accept bakers in the Tinker's Guild. TikTok, you're not a baker, are you? Sniff, mm. all TikTok, you don't smell like a baker. Here are the recipes for a Tinker's Kit and Cogs, plus some ingredients to get you started. Make some Cogs, okay? So we have to make a Cog, which we have all the things. Thank you for that. And then come over here. And be like, yo, what's up? Nice cogs. You keep them TikTok. I have a task for you. There's a problem with the orrery, and I want you to fix it. It's all tick and no talk. In the village are five yellow cog boxes. One of these must have a problem. So now, we get to come down here and fix these things. This cog seems to be working fine. On to the next one. So that one's fine. So the village has, what, six of them? So I already saw that one. There was this one. This one was fine on the next one. Alright, so those two are fine. This is gonna be one of those things where I hate doing these quests because I don't know all of them are. And we see I'm kind of confused already. But we are going to end the episode here. And like I said, those quests are really just meant for me to be able to get to where I need to be. So we are going to save this. And I'm going to end the episode here. Um, if you have not become a gamer right today, so just do so by clicking the subscribe button down below. Leave a like and a comment, and always, always stay boxy.